engineers do it. Before we start today's video, I would like to ask all my viewers to subscribe to my YouTube channel How Engineers Do It, to share the video among all of your friends and also hit the bell icon to never miss another update. Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here from How Engineers Do It and today we're going to learn how to create a dashboard in this manner. So I'll just show you how this dashboard works. So here I have the source data in which uh, the different weeks and the days and the number of defects and uh, which day of the month or which day of the week that day is. So here I have created another table in which uh, the data is uh, getting pulled from this uh, main table and uh, here I have uh, data validation from which if I select different uh, weeks the uh, dashboard is going to change accordingly. So this kind of uh, a representation will be helpful if, if you would like to show to your senior, ma senior management how your uh, uh, defect data works on uh, week by week. So let's say I have this, this data over here and I want to show week by week how my uh, 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 defect performance is. So if I am showing this table, this table is going to be a long one and I have to show it this way and it doesn't uh, really, uh, it's, it's not graphical, all right? So over here, this is more graphical and this is more readable. So if I'm talking about uh, week three, you can see uh, the most number of defects happened on Monday uh, on the 14th of January, which we have uh, five, five defects. So if I go for week five, uh, the most number of defects happened on Thursday, that's 31st of Jan. So in this way, we can represent the defects. So without further ado, let's go into the videos. Thank you. All right, now that we have the source data ready, now the next step will be to create a table which can consolidate the data and throw the data for us week-wise, all right? Now first thing I'll do is I'll put a week and here what I would do is I need a data validation. So I'll, I'll require a down button where I can select the different weeks that I would like to work with. I'll just go, go to ref and I'll just put one, two, three, four and five. Okay. We have five weeks in January. Right. Now let's go back to this and here I'll go for data and data validation. I'll go for data validation and here I'll select list and I'll go for the source and I'll go for ref and select all the reference. I'll just click on OK and here you can see the different weeks. I'll just put week one as default and over here now what I would do is we'll take date and number of defects Okay, we'll come over here, date and number of defects. Now you can see that if you go over here, you can see that there is a long formula over here. You don't have to worry or get overwhelmed by uh, looking at this long formula. Let's just uh, uh, break it into small pieces and learn that. Now. The first thing you got to do is equal to VLOOKUP. I'm going to look for one in table array, this table array, correct. Column index number is two, okay, enter. Now I'll just change this format to again our, our format. First gen. Now, if I drag it downwards, this will not be working because if you see over here, this um, the first the lookup value is getting changed. So what you have to do is, in order to lock that, just put function f4, enter. Now, if I double click over here, what happens is yeah let it be let this na come it's okay all right 
Now, number of defects. Now, in order to populate the number of defects, what I do is equals to VLOOKUP and I'll be looking up for first Jan in the table array, this table array and column index number will be 2 and this will be false. Now I'll close this. Now if I just drag this downwards, you can see 3554. Five, this comes this way. Okay. Now this table is correct. Now why do we have such a big formula? Let's see that. Now if I change from first week to second week, data is not going to get changed in the correct manner. Now what we require here is a if formula. So I'll put if. Now what I'm going to do is if g this particular value equals to 1, then we look up g2. Look for this data in this table. Now I'll again log this. Now I'll just uh, drag this downwards. Okay, there is no change in that. Now what I'm going to do is I'll just add this is a little tricky so you have to remove the last bracket take this portion the whole thing control C put a comma put and put here to we look up okay just change this to 2 and then this particular table will move to this okay let's see that now whether it's working No, no, something happened. Okay, what has happened is A8 to A. Okay, so basically this table need to come here and this table need to come here. Perfect. Now you can see 3554 and if I go to week number 2, okay that's fine in fact, we look up I3, okay, okay what we can do is we can pull this fully downwards. Okay, now I'll just go for first week. You can see 3554. And if I go for second week, you can see 32532. All right. Now I'll be explaining you how this formula has worked. And let's uh, do for another one and you'll get more clarity on that. I'll just uh, put again another if. Control C comma another if and here I'm gonna put 3 and remaining thing goes as it is okay I'll put another comma and I'll put control V here I'll put 4 and here another comma control V here I'll put 5 okay Okay, so what we'll do is A8 to B12, right? So this is 
a 15 to b 19 a 15 to b 19 okay and now a 22 to here it should be a 22 to be like uh, 25 not 25 it's yeah 26 we can drag it over here also and the last one is a29 to b32 a29 to b32 Okay, now I'll just put it dra drag it downwards and if I put week number 4 also the data is changing correctly. Now 21st to 25th you can see it is 44312. 44312. Alright. Now this table over here is ready. I'm just going to add two more columns over there which will be useful. Uh, before we wind up this video, I'll just explain you how this formula has worked. So, what we have done is, I'll just open this. If, now we are referencing the data that is over here. We are changing this data based on the data validation, right? Now, if this is equal to 1. Now, let's say we are in the 4. If this is 4, let's go to that. So, this part. Now, this part of the uh, formula is getting executed. Now it is just said that G2, if G2 equal to 4, that is that in this, in this case, we look up G2, that is look for 4 in where? Look, look for 4 in A22 to B26. A22 to B26. Okay. A22 to B26. Now, again, let's say, now if I'm changing it to week 2. Now all this data got changed. How did it get changed? Now again we'll come to this formula. Week 2. So week 2 means if G2 equal to 2. Now we look up G2 that is look for 2 in A8 to B12. A8 to B12. Okay. So so on and so forth. Now we have this table being created. Now the next step would be to create a donut chart. So we'll just uh, uh, do it on our next video. And another thing which I want to explain you over here is how the number of defects are getting populated. Now these data are getting generated from this, uh, uh, getting extracted from this table and getting placed based on which week we have selected. Now these defects are getting populated based on whatever dates are over here. And how do we do that? We do it with a simple VLOOKUP. We are looking up for this particular data in the whole table. Okay, so our lookup range is this. This is the entire table is our lookup range. And our lookup value is this. So I'll double click over here and you can see that I'm looking for K3 in the entire table range. That is A22 B32. No, C32. Yeah, okay. So that's about uh, this particular video. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you have any doubts, you can uh, comment below the video and I'll get back to you. Thank you and stay tuned for the next video.